Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today, my task force has been saving up Intel for a couple weeks now, and we are finally able to afford for Lone Hope. Now, chances are most of you guys have seen it before, but I just want to give a big shout out to my task force. Here's a tag if you want to join everything about it. Um, they've been awesome. They all wanted to, or most of them wanted to do this. And I just, I think that's really cool because they like work together as a team to get this goal. And we finally were able to do it. And um, we might kick some of the lower level people soon just so we can open up more room. So anyone that has zero intel, I would just say get online and try to get at least one. Because if you have one intel, probably won't get kicked versus people who have zero intel. So anyway, let's jump into it. So we started it about yesterday. And for us, I don't know, I'm not a big task force person. I think they're the same amount of bases for everyone. So it has six, eight bases and oh my gosh, they are so hard. So I'm going to be looking at them from like easiest or lowest level to the highest level. So this is the highest level of that hardcore, 315 force points. But we're going to start with this one, level 136. And I was looking at these earlier today and they don't look that bad to be honest like the only thing that looks bad about them is the rocket launchers like the rocket launchers are in range of everything and it's just perfectly placed just so you can't take it out with az so um where's the health so here's the health and guys we won't be taking this down you have no idea how hard this is for our task force there's no way we can take this down we can't even bail we can't even defeat like easier bases so i'm just showing you like what it looks like and i might be doing an attack with warriors at the end so stay tuned for that so anyway building health 808 percent 808 so what i found is some building health is super high some building health is super low and the super low ones usually have a lot of shield generators so that's a lot um that's like that's so much it's like that's that's insane anyway um defensive building damage to 62 and we'll just look at the sniper tower 8400 hp and it gets shot up to 67 it gets added they add 67,000 to it which is just insane that's like i would need to spend all of my gumbo energy to take that down on boosted so that just that's insane so let's look at the hq quick 200,000 health get shot up to 1.5 million which isn't that bad to be honest like there were mega crab stages that I got up to that were worse than this so I mean if you guys really want to be good at mega crab get in a high level task force and do operations because that's what's gonna make you really good at mega crab anyway that was a pretty easy base compared to some of these other ones now there is barbed wire okay this one's a lower level there is barbed wire on like two different bases or even one base. I can't remember. So the barbed wire is not in every base design. So this is kind of a weird base design. It has three clumps of maxed tier three um, shield generators. And each shield generator has 160,000 HP. So that's like that's like a warrior attack to take down one of them. So you would just, I, I mean, I don't know how high level task forces would take down these bases, but if I were taking them down, which I can't, that's just insane. I would I would send like four different warrior attacks, like two, two I need shield generator. So six warrior attacks, take down all the shields, then come, someone comes in with AZ, because the shield is 17 million HP. You got to take down the shield if you want to deal any damage, and then it would just be like 800,000 HP on the HQ um, so here's the defensive damage 161 which is less um, and I'm looking for the health here's the health uh, 382 which is also less than the last one but then again this base is a lower level so it just has a bunch of these little clumps in it which is absolutely crazy lots of shock blasters we got some laser beams here to destroy your hookah attacks or AZ attacks and just a rocket launcher placement because the rocket launchers are on every side. So you just need so much energy if you were to, if you were going to come out of AZ. It's just, just insane how like thought up these plans are. Looking around the base, guys, there's really nothing like new. Um, it's just the same base design, just a bigger, a bigger base, it looks like. So not too big of a deal. 
um, and then we have uh, 140 over here so we're gonna be looking at this base next and this base actually does not look that bad like they have a clump of rocket launchers that you would need to see if you go up here if you come up here with like AZ and then just shock the shock launcher and shock to this clump and that looks like all the splash damage you could easily take this out in like four attacks if you were skilled or maybe even less than that I can't wait because there will always be those people who are able to one shot, I mean, not one shot, but take down each solo, each of these bases eventually. So I just think that's like super cool. Um, and then other than that, there's like, it looks like a pretty easy base design to me. I'm looking for the, um, oh, they're up here. Wow, Christian, you are blind. So 245 defensive building damage and wow, almost 900 building health percentage. So. That's absolutely insane. Uh, 200,000 health core gets shot up to 1.7 million. That's that's just crazy, man. Um, and yeah, so that one, in my opinion, looks like the easiest base here. But you guys who are into task forces will be like Christian. That's not the case. So we do have a few people that came in with attacks. Which is funny to me in uh, one of our leaders. He's our leader general Zod. He said this base is mine There's no way he can take this down now when you first look at it for people with an untrained eye Like me it, it looked easy and then I was like wait a minute this base I could do in like one attack But then I looked at it and all the rocket launchers are around the base You would need so much gumbo energy because it's uh 2.3 million HP core so you would need a lot of shocks a lot of gumbo energy to keep stuff shocked um, so yeah I'm gonna try to move through these a little faster so we don't have a, like a 20 minute video they're over here kind of hidden 300,000 uh, defensive building damage and we have our <laughs> this is our first one over 1,000 1,000 building health so um, okay that looks okay I can't wait to show you this top base Next up is a 148. We're gonna move through these a little bit faster now. So yeah, pretty hard base design. The rocket launchers are on the bottom side. The shock launchers up here on the top. There's some flamethrowers, which might make it hard. Some more rocket launchers. Just insane stuff. 2.2 million HP. Um, that would be 1,000 building health, which is insane. And 355 building damage. Wow, that's just crazy to me. Um, and then next, I thought it was cool that you could put an emoji as the base note and then it shows up there Because it shows the first letter of your note. I just uh, think that's super cool Anyway, this base also looks like it could be easy But that's before you realize how much HP is on these buildings. That's a hundred thousand HP cannon 100,000 um, so yeah, you have a lot of mines. The rocket launchers are like all around the base design. We have some laser beams on the bottom. And let's look at the stats. 259, which isn't that high, and 840. So overall, pretty easy base. But the shield generator brings it up to a 1 or 11 point 12. 12 point uh, yeah 12 it's about it's about 13 million HP as like four shield generators just remember that four shield generators gave it 11 million HP um so now we're skipping up we have like three more bases left this base is insane <laughs> look at this um, 15 16 like 16.5 million HP we got a ton of shield generators um, ton of mines just a lot of splash damage surrounding the base just overall a pretty hard base and then we have the last base here and i said jimmy will solo this <laughs> look at this this is the only base that has barbed wire what <laughs> look how many shield generators now guys i did the math um boy i'll tell you that after you see this amount so you're like okay not that bad let's look at the health only 465 uh, percent health that's pretty easy man and uh, 127 wow that's really easy um and you're like okay well there's a few rocket launchers around the base design which is gonna make it hard <sighs> 55 million hp on that core 55 
million. Okay, so I did the math and it's gonna take about 18 minutes of just straight 96 max level on boosted Zookas to take this down. 18 minutes, just like parked here and firing at that HQ. 18 minutes, that's like, that's like eight, no, it's not eight attacks. How long are each attacks? I don't even know how long each attack is. Is it, I think it's four minutes. And then by the time you get to the HQ, maybe like three minutes. Um, so we'll just say like three minutes. So that's, that's just, it's so, oh my gosh, that's six attacks. It would take about six attacks to take this down. And that's not even taking into account all the defenses around it. And you wouldn't even be able to make it that far. So just insane how strong this base is. <laughs> oh, it just blows my mind. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think I counted like 32 shield generators. Um, but look at all this up here. But just a bunch of power cells. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you all the other attacks I'll show you these two attacks and what they did. Now, I haven't watched these yet, but I have a feeling you're just going to walk over here and take down some of those some of those uh, power cells. <sighs> Look at that. That's like an HQ for him. These are 18, was it 18 warriors? We're going to speed this up to times four because this is taking forever. This is on times four, guys. Keep in mind, but this is taking forever. Was that five minutes? I have no idea. It might start you off at five minutes. I'll look on the next base. These warriors are just going ham. I don't know why he dropped a flare. He would, he would, he would do fine. Uh, maybe he wanted to stay out of range, but he was fine. Not a big deal. So you kind of get the point. Um, I think it was uh, 18. Yeah, he had 18 warriors, and there wasn't even that much HP on these these uh, power cells. So we'll. We'll do one that's not damaged. Here we go. Yeah, so only like 70,000 HP. So that's not like that bad. But then he came in and he actually did not get anywhere. But it's, it's going to be funny. I just want to say like thank you guys that are in my task force for letting me do this. Like I was totally fine with not doing this. And you guys were like, no, let's do this. And just like so funny. Um, or I'm just so happy guys that like this guy killed his entire army just to like get in a video i don't know if he even knew he would be recorded but it's just kind of cool to me. now i'm going to show you this base and i'm going to walk through this barbed wire here and i'm going to try to position myself carefully i'm going to like fly up to that power cell there's nothing like really centered onto it but hopefully it works and we will try it um looking around we're going to have to gosh gonna have to drop some flyers or something as soon as we land I, I I think I know what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna drop a barrage here there we go and we're gonna flare to this or yeah we'll do this cannon we're gonna drop our warriors and we are gonna have to drop smokes on the landing and I just want to see like how fast my poor little babies die. <laughs> oh gosh, already kind of wounded. So we're gonna drop a heal. We're just gonna drop one more smoke. Just to make sure they're fully healed. I don't- Oh, they're standing in barbed wire. That's why they're not fully healing. Okay, we're dropping our flare. We're dropping our smokes. And I forgot it slows them down. Like super, super fast. I don't know. Some some of them are walking out, guys. But I'm just, I'm kind of laughing. We'll let them kind of die. They will die. Yeah, they all did. Um, so yeah, my warriors are kind of dying. Slowly. Drop a med kit. They're going to run out of the med kit. And we're going to need another flare. That's so funny. Look at that. Look how slow they're walking. They're like, no. They have so much HP though. And they're about to walk out and all die. So that's really cool. <laughs> now they're just dead. Instantly. Instantly. Wow. That's awesome. I love this. We're never going to do this again, guys. Don't worry. If you're my task force, I just want to say thank you for letting me do this. And yeah, just big shout out to the rejects, man. Just pulling through, man. Anyway, um, for Lone Hope. That's going to be on a record now. 
not a big deal because we have a 48% operation success because nobody attacks and we do these high level operations. Like just the other day we did dead end. <laughs> I don't know who started that, but it was just funny because we didn't get anywhere. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to drop a like as always. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.